In reference to new department of Portugal, there are many questions from the different people. The first question, for example, that did the fee of TRC change? Uh, what is the procedure of uh, taking interview during biometric? What are the questions uh, IMA office is asking? Because earlier SAP office uh, was conducting biometric because some biometrics uh, have been cleared by AMA, so biometrics uh, have already been started. So these are the questions which I will discuss today in this clip and you know my channel uh, provide immigration visa news in a simple way and uh, my uh, first objective to provide you the latest updated news of immigration and visa. I also provide the solutions of immigration problems and also I analyze the immigration news with factual counseling. So welcome to Irfan Visa News channel. Coming back to our topic. First of all, I may need to speak about TRC fee. There are a lot of speculations that TRC fee has been increased. Some YouTubers recorded and there were questions also. Did there is change in the fee of TRC? So I am confirming until now, until now. I can't say next hour because I need to tell you facts about now. At the time I am speaking, there is no any change in TRC fee. So please be relaxed. The first biometric when done, the, the fee of TRC was same. So there is no change in the TRC after SAF when AMA started biometric. Now I will tell you the what is the procedure of taking a biometric. First of all, there is no change in procedure, but definitely there will be change if anybody is telling some uh, some uh, uh, some lectures uh, uh, the people are recording and they are telling there is no change and same procedure there is no same procedure there is a little change if there was same procedure so why was uh, why ema office was introduced so it was better to have to keep working so why they are using so much resources almost they involved seven departments in immigration gnr I, 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 irn so definitely there is some change and what is the change some analyst can tell you so i will tell you what uh, by minutely <coughs> what are the changes changes are that <coughs> there are two type of the people one type of the people who are working in portugal by legal way they are taking uh, they are doing job uh, they are working uh, legally in any genuine companies uh, in portuguese companies even in pakistani asian companies as well but they are working legally and they are paying their taxes uh, indians uh, pakistani sri lankans uh, nepal and from all over the world tanzania people are very hard worker and they are working there as well african peoples are working and they are paying taxes regularly they are not doing any illegal acts there they entered portugal by legal way and they paid six taxes and they had no any criminal activity and they had uh, completed all their documents the police clearance certificate they had completed they completed resident certificate they have nif number they have the social security number they have completed their documents by all way these are the first type of the people what is the aim objective aim objective is that don't ask much question to these people don't verify much to these people give them trc card even they will be asked many questions they will be given trc card in a quicker base because they are the genuine people that is the first object if ema is not doing so that is not following his sop ema sop is that if the person is genuine we have to clear him as soon as possible remember these discussions were in parliament of uh, portugal and portugal spoke portugal parliament member spoke that uh, portugal is growing economically due to immigrants the immigrants are working for us because over own residents they left uh, portugal passport holder because average and average salary is less and uh, per, per capita salary per, per person salary is also per hour is also less so they will move from uh, portugal to any other developed Schengen countries like switzerland norway where the per capita income is very good so therefore these are the immigrants who work here for five to at least they need to they stayed there for five to ten years to get the passport when they move no problem but they had worked in five years so therefore their first plan 
is to filter off genuine people from the non-genuine people. It's like Australia because Australia is also conducting a such type of the filters in the future and Australia introduced one terminology of uh, uh, GT, GST for students, uh, genuine students and non-genuine students. Similarly, EMA want genuine people, non-genuine people. Non-genuine people, the TRC card will be given but it will be late. They will be verified by all way. They may be given, they may not be given. Their case will be the pending. So definitely, if the SAF was giving you TRC card easily, if you was having uh, some problems in documents and you have some, uh, you was not staying in Portugal, you was little bit uh, illegal in the sense that you was not in Portugal and you was in any other country. So definitely, definitely, EMA has resources to check it from SIS. Now it has seven department and each department is working separately. Therefore, no verification is quite easier for them. Otherwise, SAP sometimes skips the verification because of one department was doing a seven works, issuing TRC card as well, <coughs> doing biometric as well, and also um, conducting interviews as well, the sending emails as well. And second change which you will see in AIMA, that their processing will be quite easier. Mean that you will say you will get an email also soon and you will not be in trouble that if you will you will have any question you may be able to contact them easily in SAF was not responding you will get response as well. So these people will give you better response than SAF. These people will handle you better uh, uh, better way than SAF and you will be more linked with the EMA than the SAF and they are opening more offices as well. Now interview the first interview biometric and what they are asking they are just asking question to judge you are genuine or not genuine if you are genuine you may have little bit portuguese language as well if you are not genuine you was in any other country definitely you are not able to speak even one word of the portuguese remember these top members speak english fluently which i have information but they wanted to speak portuguese aggressively because they like their own country, like other Shenzhen countries. So therefore, uh, what, what is the scenario if you are living in Portugal? My suggestion, my advice is that at least um, uh, you speak, uh, you try to speak three, four sentences in Portuguese with them as well. This is my, this is my suggestion to you. This is my advice to you. They will get 90% idea you are staying in Portugal and you did not come from any other Shenzhen country which other, other people are doing. Number one. Number two, your verification will be 100% sure in this case, in the EMA. EMA will show everything. If therefore, if you are submitting any document, please be careful. If document is fake, so definitely like Australia and Canada, you may be banned and you may not be given TRC card. So this is the EMA objective. If you are genuine, if you are a, uh, you have documents are pure, your documents are exactly same, your company name exactly same and you are working there, you are, then sleep. Drink milk and sleep, you will get 100% TRC, there will be no any hurdle. Little bit delays their appointment processing definitely of each country will matter. Number, number two, your answering should be at confidence level. Just like you should not be shaky. If you are shaky, they will have little bit doubt that he is speaking wrong thing and they may verify more. Because they have the verification system now more superior than the others. So they can verify two, three times as well. Even you are genuine, but please speak your words with confidence. The person who is true will speak with confidence. The person who is not true will speak with the shaky words. You are working. What is the name of your company? You must name the name of the company. Definitely you are working in that company. Who is the owner name? Definitely you have to tell. What is the address of the company? You have to tell. No problem. No issue. You are, you get, you are able to tell very easily. You are able to tell how many spouse and children you have. You need to tell your wife and children. There is no any problem in telling wrong thing. Just tell truth which you have written. Oh, how you have entered the Portugal, you must tell in this state I have entered by legal way I have entered, even by illegal way you have entered, you have to tell correct because when if you have entered by illegal way to no problem, there is a way in Portugal is the only country who are giving respect to illegal. The concept of Portugal government is that in my opinion, they want that if the person is doing mistake due to any problem, so why we are giving punishment, just give him chance, one chance, but this chance will be last chance. If you will speak one thing, one more uh, lie statement in the EMA, so definitely you will not be able to stay permanently in the Portugal. Well, taxes you must have in illegal case, you must know. Now they are asking, you need to tell you where you were staying. You could, you should tell exact address of your, where you are living. 
they should not tell any other thing. If you are, if you have no resident, no problem. Tell them correctly, no issue. Tell me, give us the NIF number. You need to give NIF number. You know, social security number. You need to give them. Your company is paying taxes. Yes, you need to tell. Yes, my company is paying taxes. They will ask. They will. You did you verify that your companies are paying taxes? Yeah, definitely. I verified from verified from my owner. Owner is paying taxes. And uh, did you check my website of uh, AMA RCF? Yes, I checked my, 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 my online data is available and six taxes has been paid. What is your objective after getting TRC card? You will leave uh, Portugal and you will go to any other country. No, no, no. I am working in this company because job is very difficult. My primary objective is to you have to speak in favor of Portugal. When you will speak in favor of Portugal, remember, you want to get something from me? I'm just joking. You want to get something from me? If you will speak against me, so definitely might be I gave because my mind is different. I, I love those people who speak against because they are criticizing so definitely you will learn more. This is there, there is no point. By criticism you can learn more. Whatever you are doing. Whatever you are doing. But one thing more. More criticism decrease the personality of individuals. Person who is criticizing. For example if you are doing mistakes from your wife, from your children. You are wrong, you are wrong, you are wrong. You himself are becoming de becoming little bit depressive. Mistakes are elsewhere. Mistakes are in your personality as well. For example, I will tell you one thing. If you are a teacher and you are teaching English and you will stop uh, kid to speak in English. This sentence is RM. You are so grammatical mistakes you are doing. This sentence is wrong. This is or wrong. This R you have wrong. You did not use this word right. You did not use this word wrong. So what will happen? That kid will lose confidence level, will not be able to conversate and will not be conversate to hundred millions ideas in the mind. He will not be able to come out. Reason, he is stuck with the language because we stuck him in English linguistic that this and that, this and he is doing PhD, he is not doing PhD in English linguistic. Remember the English people who United Kingdom, Canada who discovered English language don't see grammatical vegetable seller, whatever they are doing, they are working in taxi drivers, they are working and they are speaking. Even Portuguese when you will go, they will not take grammatically, they will not think you are not teaching Portuguese language. Just main objective to convey your idea to others. Understand, if you are watching grammar, uh, ING, uh, uh, you did not use ING after his RM, so definitely you will stuck that person, that person will not be able to speak fluently throughout the life. That's the way, that's the way. The uneducated people, uneducated people in any language, they speak fluently of that language because they are not taking uh, care of the grammar. So definitely if you are teaching grammar, that's something else. So we stuck. Similarly, if you are going to, uh, if you are going to uh, speak true there, you will be successful. There will be no, uh, there will be no any type of uh, uh, problem there. Sorry, I did not, I did little bit deviate, but I was preparing your interview as well. I was preparing your interview. Therefore, you can speak Portuguese. Now we we'll go back to our topic. The topic is that the he, the, 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 the AIM officer is asking some question, and you are giving answers. Answers must be perfect and uh, must be uh, true, true, and must be with confidence. You will get your uh, biometric very soon because the true people are getting the genuine people are getting TRC card inshallah very soon in the coming days a little bit uh, uh, problem with the people with the less document and I will guide them as well but uh, you have to speak true whatever the scenario is for example you stayed in Germany you stayed in Switzerland in the last days you need to tell no problem I, I, I give you one example one person was uh, in uh, Germany and uh, he wanted to get uh, biometric in the SAF, uh, in, in the SAF, not in the AMA, because some days back SAF was working. What happened? Uh, he did know that my my uh, my biometrics are done, have done in Germany. So he contacted SIS. There is a form. He filled up the form. He hired one consultant from the Portugal. There was no problem. You can hide yourself as well because you, even you are in any country online. Uh, data is uh, online. Uh, this facility is available. You will pay fee. SI system, SIS system. You will request. I don't want to stay in Germany. I don't want. I want to refuse TRC. I want to. Re I want to give TRC back to Germany because I want only one TRC card of Portugal. My current. Uh, uh, state my current uh, uh, biometric appointment is in Portugal so I will go to the biometric Portugal I will go to the Portugal and I will get the TRC of Portugal 
so therefore uh, they will uh, they will uh, wave off your trc card of germany and what will happen you go to portugal and uh, you will give he gave biometric uh, of portugal and he got the trc card of the portugal that is very genuine but problem is where problem you got a trc card of any poland for example and you want to keep both trc card reasons i i reason i tell you because we have some problems we have some problems in the sense we just want that uh, two options will be there that uh, uh, passport we will also get and this passport we will also get we can have one schengen passport at one time please talk with any lawyer talk with any consultant if you have now if you have no money talk with you can send me email to me i will give you any suggestion you can talk with your friends in portugal there are many good people in portugal and um, uh, you you can see faisal at youtube channel is there faisal is in the portugal and he is much he is explaining a lot of things you can go to any genuine person and he will guide you what to do please don't uh, take your decisions yourself better you consult with any concerned person then you will be able so biometric interview is not much difficult it's the same but you have to answer by confidence way and you must know the name of your company the taxes and everything which you are submitting by confidence keep watching latest immigration visa news channel a fan visa news a financial counselor thank you very much